Hey guys, Delmo here. He's come a long ways because he's in a lot of pain and nothing over many, many years has helped him. He fell really bad on a trampoline years ago, really messed himself up. He has sciatica that just won't go away. He's already had back surgery, of course, hasn't helped him. Neck pain, shoulder pain, knee pain, just killing him. He takes tons of Oxycontin. He's had dizziness problems, has this weird thing with his throat. He coughs all the time and chokes up. Tons of mucus, can't get rid of it. Constipated, acid reflux, brain fog, has sleep issues. Been to a ton ton of chiropractors over 35 years. Not one of them's helped him. Saw my videos came out. Now he has a bad clavicle fracture that is probably contributing to all his neck pain. He has a ton of arthritis. He has this big, huge growth on the back of his skull. A little bit of a compression fracture. We adjusted him. See a little clear. Hi, Dr. Stair here. I'm with Del Mo. Yes. Okay. And from Texas. And so he has uh, seen uh, chiropractor for the last 35 years for his back, right? Correct. Gotcha. He said he's seen almost 10 chiropractors at that time. My sciatica, I gave him, have real bad sciatica pain in my legs, my my back, and also uh, can't sleep, suffer from insomnia, my neck, yeah. and uh, my uh, shoulders, and um, they just I'm in pain 24-7. He came out with an entire list of all the things he has going on and so that helps me a lot guys so we can go a lot faster in your exam. I uh, consistently, constantly I have to clear my throat. <clears> has <throat> some kind of build up in my in my, my throat area and just don't know what's what's going on. Nobody can know, no doctor can find out. Here and be going over 20 something years. Right knee replacement that uh, just a couple months ago and tell us how happy you are with that replacement surgery. Not happy at all. Yeah. So uh, again, talk to me before you guys get surgery because this is BS. This, these medical quacks cut these people open for no reason. Um, back surgery, we had some, in, I guess you had what, a laminate, not a laminectomy, you had a... Minimal invasive surgery in my back. Yeah, just maybe, it's probably just a little disectomy or something like that. And then uh, he had a stit put in his heart about uh, five years ago. Five years ago. So 70% occlusion was coronary artery and so because of that, we also had to send for a scan today. We wanted to do a carotid vertebral artery clearing, meaning we wanted to make sure he had an ultrasound to see if it was okay. There's patency in there so that uh, we covered our bases, made sure he's not going to have any problems with the cervical adjustment. So again, I recommend it to chiropractors out there. Very quick, easy way to know that he's uh, safe to adjust. But if you guys have any heart issues, maybe you want to get that done at home before you come out of here. So something to think about. And the neurosurgeon told you what? Okay, they want to do a uh, fusion on my, my neck. Why? Because of my cervical C6, C5, it's kind of messed up. They want to fuse it, it up. It's not even that bad. Those guys are quacks too. Well, before I had several injuries with my, my neck when I was in the military, falls from the uh, from six, eight feet falls that I fell off from tanks and areas that I was climbing around. And then I had an accident, a trampoline, jumping around and landed on my neck. And uh, uh, went to the emergency room, right? Yeah, went to the emergency room. I couldn't balance myself. What kind of drugs are you on? Oxycontin too? Oxycontin. How much a day? I take uh, two pills a day. How often? How long you do this for? Mm, for the past, you could say three years. Constipation. Tell us about your constipation too, sir. Yes, uh, my constipation is pretty bad. I have to take uh, colon cleanse just about once a week to be able to clear it up. Heartburn a couple times a week maybe, uh, brain fog, which he doesn't want to admit, but he knows he has some brain fog too yes. going on, concentration mm -hmm. issues. Uh, tell us about your sleep. How wonderful is your sleep? Oh, my sleep is terrible. I, I don't go to sleep till 2, 3, 4 in the morning. Yeah. And uh, a lot of fatigue. I suffer from sleep apnea. Okay, and how much pain there, sir, in your back? Uh, about 7. 7? Go ahead and stand up. Oh. Go back like this, sir. Oh, that's Seven. Gotcha. He looks like it's a seven, right? He complains that it's a nine out of ten most of the time and a ten out of ten multiple times a day. And this is for years. Oh, yeah. yeah. For years. Okay, look at the floor, please, in your neck. How much pain in your neck there, sir? My neck, right there, six. Six, look at the ceiling. Oh, that's pretty bad. But I got about eight there. Eight, gotcha. Now we're going to have him squat. Now, again, he is, what, four months off his surgery, and we'll watch him squat. I want you to tell me how much pain in your knees and how much pain in your back, sir. Uh, well, 10. What pain? 10 where? My knees. In your knees? What are my you hamstrings? Got? My back, my lower back. Okay, so one more time, go down. Okay, that's it, right? That's it. That's gotcha. It. Okay. So he's in a bad way. His knee is really swollen when I did an examination on it. Really swollen. We could only get maybe a few degrees of range of motion until he was screaming and hollering at me. And then, so last thing, we're going to have him stand up on his toes. Make sure you check out his toes, Daniel. Stand up his toes. Why are you shucking and driving, dude? Yeah, I cannot balance myself. I just. 
king. I used Try to, to say five seconds. Five seconds. Can you do five <laughs> seconds? Okay, good. Now, what about your feet? Do it one more time. Tell us about your feet. How much foot? Oh, my feet, oh, they hurt. Okay, my stand feet. up again. Stand up again. How much foot pain? <sighs> Eight, nine. Eight, gotcha. Good. So, you ready for a miracle, sir? Yes. Good. Let's do it. On your back, sir. Again, he's been adjusted by 10 different chiropractors over 35 years. And uh, he's going to give our, his take on what this is like compared to all the other stuff. And he just saw somebody a couple days ago. Yeah. Is that just like all the other guys? Oh my gosh. <laughs> See a little clear. <laughs> See a little clear? Oh yeah. That looks a little foggy, but. Uh, yes. Oh yeah, he broke his clavicle. You can feel that sucker right there. Yeah. It's like sharp, huh? Very sharp. Yeah. Cut yourself. Come, come, come. Good. Yeah, that clavicle, when you guys break your clavicles, guys, um, it is a issue. Because a broken clavicle can cause scar tissue, causes distortion of how the neck orients itself on the shoulders. So there's always a pull towards the broken fracture. So um, even if it's healed, it heals in such a funky way that it's always going to be a problem. Don't do neck surgeries, guys, ever, unless you talk to me first. You guys know the drill, helping Delmo up, because, you know, every patient that gets adjusted by me generally feels a little lightheaded. That's because we're making changes to the brainstem. So let's check in, see how he's doing. More clear when you adjust it. I just like, I heard, I heard like a little beep sound <laughs> in my right side. Uh -huh. You know, so I see more. I can see more, a little more clear. Isn't that great? It was, you know, it was a little foggy first. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. So it's swallow or is that? Is that <coughs> any different you know, kind of difference? Yeah, oh yeah, I kind of know the difference on it too. But seriously, I wasn't just saying to say it. I just, yeah. I don't feel that build up because you know you can, I can feel it. Yeah, I can feel my neck a little more. How can I say aligned a little up? At first, it was kind of like. Like, I don't know, like just, like, just like all those chiropractors in Texas. <laughs> hey guys, another drill here. We call it recalibration. That spreads that neck adjustment to the toesies. Let's see how he's doing. So what's the wifey say? The wifey says what? He's not what? She can't say it louder. Oh, he's, he's not, not limping. He like usually limps. Wob he's not wobbling. He's not wobbling. I'm sorry. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm not wobbling. He's not wobbling. Yeah. Look at him. Yeah, feel you know, the, kind of like a relief, you know, that my my body's not there all tense. It's kind of like relax. Gotcha. So good. Oh my gosh! <laughs> and look at Daniel's face. <laughs> you even were surprised. <laughs> that was a seven or eight, sir. What is that now? Oh my gosh! One, four, three. Yeah. When's the last time you touched your toes like that, sir? It's been quite a while. Quite a while. Yeah. Years. Yeah. How is this going to change your life? You, is it going to be different, right? If you can feel oh, yeah. less pain, right? Oh yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, that's what we're looking you know at. The, you know the biggest thing to change your life? You got to freaking move to California. Yeah, but well, no, I, you know, I would like to, but it's still a little <laughs> crowded over here. <laughs> Go ahead and lean back. That was an eight minute ago. What is that, oh, sir? Oh my gosh, you dropped down to four. Okay, when you take all that freaking oxycon, oh you're uh -huh, you're on oxycon and you're still at an eight or a nine, mm -hmm. so. Uh, I just took all that pain away with what? How how long did that freaking take? Minutes, seconds. Yeah. Just and how many just chiropractic visits have you been to over 35 years? How much money have you wasted to those other doctors? Plenty. I've been to all kinds of chiropractors, acupuncturists, physical therapists. Been through all of it. I've been through all kinds of injections. Yeah. Nothing has brought any of surgeries too. I did minimal invasive surgery in my back. Look down, please. That was a five or a six a minute ago. What is that now? Just drop down to, drop down to about three. Look at the ceiling. That was an eight, I think, a minute ago. You can see now. Yeah. Now the one I love, these last two, these last two really tell a story because they're a close kinematic chain, guys. So when he squats, that puts a whole bunch of stress on his body in ways that he can't control. You can't fake this crap. So again, you ready to squat? Squat a little better. Oh my gosh, my knee don't hurt that much. It's it was a ten a minute ago. What is it now? Five. Ten more two. That was a ten. Post surgical, four months. Ten out of ten pain, guys. 
and it went to what? Two, three? Oh, about three. Yeah, three. And how about your back? Go down one more time, sir. <laughs> you went, it was a 10 a minute ago. What yeah, is it now? Yeah, hurt. A little sore, but it doesn't hurt. I can look at this guy. He wants to squat now. I can talk, but I've been wanting to do exercise for a while. That's pretty neat. Okay, last one. This is the one that impresses me. That one impresses you guys, the squat thing. But the last one, stand in toes for five seconds. How much easier is that? Well, at least I can hold it for a little while. What do you mean a little while? Look at you're up there now. Oh, yeah. Now, how about that seven or eight out of ten pain in your feet? It dropped down. It's, I still have pain, but it's not that thing. What is like it? It was four. So half the amount of pain? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, anyways, all you haters out there keep writing all this crap. Like, you adjust the neck, and how can you fix a toe or a feet? Some stupid comment you guys make. Did we not just help your feet? Oh, yeah. Tremendous. Did we not just help your sur post-surgical knee? Yes. And what did I treat on you, sir? Just fit my neck. Yeah. I'm just sorry just to talk. I'm sorry to sell this constantly to you guys. That you guys that believe me, I know, but it's just unbelievable that you can't see the truth. This is unedited footage. This man is falling apart, and all I did was adjust his neck. And you guys say, why pick on other chiropractors? Because he's been to 35 freaking years of chiropractors, and in one five-minute adjustment, he's better. I don't know what else to tell you. I mean, it's a proof positive right there, baby. Swallow again. <clears throat> you know, that, I don't have that build up. Hey, isn't that crazy? <clears throat> very, very crazy. I went from the office and felt pain free, no pain at all. Hour later. You told your wife, you came back and you said what to her? I feel no pain. Yeah, you feel no pain, right? I feel no pain at all. That's, that's, and then you did amazing. the building walks like I asked you? Yes. What happened then? Uh, we walked around three mm -hmm, times mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. felt good. and. Went out to go eat and, and I felt no pain. About an hour later, I started to get my sciatic pain. So, well. gotcha. And your knees started hurting again. Yes. Mm -hmm. So again, what he's experiencing, guys, is muscle memory. We talk about this all the time. I can help a patient in the office, but again, the bad habits, the bad motions that are ingrained in our patterns of walking and how we do things, unwind his work. The X-rays, there's reverse cervical curve. The atlas is smashed up against the occiput. Um, I call it the chili dip effect. He's worn off at least half of that bone on his atlas. Big, huge noggin on the back of his head from long-standing um, poor posture. Arthritis all along the right side of his back. Um, L3 looks really messed up, like there's some kind of mild compression fracture there. We have an 11 millimeter imbalance, 13 degree curve occipital tilt. Here we have an old, badly aligned, healed clavicle fracture. Here we have massive right thoracic arthritis. Here we have a 14 degree curve and a left short leg. Here we have three quarter atlas wear and huge skull growth. And we have a mild L3 compression fracture with constipation. Wow. Yeah. Woo. Doing exactly what he's supposed to be doing, right on pace. See you guys next time. I started with no pain, then we did some walking. How yeah. much walking? This is what I'll tell you. Oh, quite a bit. We walked at Victoria Gardens Mall. We did, uh, I'm going to say a good close, about half a mile, yeah. probably. Okay. Tell us how much could you walk before you started getting oh, treated here? Not even a block or two. Not even a block, right? Right. Yeah. So he goes, ah, oh, my knee hurt, my knee hurt, my leg hurt, and I, but how much are you walking? He goes, a ton more, right? Yeah. You're able to get around now. Yes. Now tell us about your sleep, sir. My sleep uh, has improved. Gotcha. Has improved. I can sleep now better. And yeah, tell us about your sciatica too. My sciatica pains have, uh, uh, the pain level from uh, before, from one to 10, I was like an eight, nine. Right now, I'm looking like a three. Gotcha, and that's, so that's consistently better, right? Oh yeah. Tell us what you're thinking about staying another week, why? Uh, because I see, I'm seeing good positive results. Yeah, we're not here to con you guys and tell you guys to, to stay without results. You're gonna feel results. The oh, yeah. problem, the reason you stay is so I can teach you how to stay out of pain. What is the only place I've treated on you? Just my neck. Just your neck. Good, sir. Good. Because this clavicle sticks out right where my hand is, so I can't get my hand low enough to adjust them. I walked off. My knee was it hurt, and the uh, pain level was not that bad. From a 110, it was about three. Uh, I was pain free for two, three hours. 
The more I walked in, my knee started hurting. Gotcha. He ended up taking medication at night when he went to bed, right? Yes, I had to Why? take two painkillers. I was in pain. In pain. But then tell us how you woke up this morning. This morning I woke up good. There was no pain. He said, I stand like I'm ready to fight. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yes, it's true. You know, before I was just like my chest popped up and I was ready to go, you know? Yeah, right. And, and, the, and the funny thing about that is that the, not that he's angry, but the position of trying to fight is an aggressive position, which is what? More muscle contraction. More muscle contraction is counterproductive to what we're doing. Excellent. That was a good one. Yeah. Is that the broken clavicle? No. It's yeah, the broken so, clavicle side, yeah. yes. Oh yeah, put your hands on your butt. We talked about this yesterday. Remember we talked about this? Yeah. How are you gonna do it? There you go, pull your shoulders down more. Good, there you go, buddy. Good. So his clavicle's broken here, and so it's always difficult to get this adjustment. So we came to the new position to hopefully There we go. That was much better. Yeah. How was that, dude? So you see my arm move? Yeah. <laughs>